started recording music at the early age of 11 as Lil Prince and was a member of the Glorious Five, a group he formed with his friends from church. He came into the limelight with his debut song, Holler at Your Boy, released in January of 2010. Since then, he has kept raising the bar to become one of the greatest music artists from Africa, representing the green-white-green flag in remarkable spots across the world. Hello guys, and welcome to another exciting installment of our Top 10 Celebrity Facts series, brought to you by Sidemex Entertainment. Oh, yeah, pick up my money, put them for your head, yo. This video's episode is all about popular Nigerian international music act, Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun, popularly known as Wizkid, who since his entrance into the Nigerian music scene a decade ago, has continued to mesmerize his audience with his talent and vocal prowess. Baby girl, follow me, my but before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as we drop another exciting video. Now, let's dive in. Number 10. Wizkill's real name is Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun. He also goes by the nickname of Starboy. He was born on the 16th of July 1990 to a Muslim father, Alaji Muniru Olatunji Balogun, and a Christian mother, Dolapo Jane Balogun, in Lagos, Nigeria. Wizkid grew up in Surulere among 12 female siblings, listening to King Sunny Ade, Fela Kuti, and Bob Marley. In addition to his mother, his father also had two other wives. <laughs> Number 9. Wizkid's educational background is quite interesting. He attended Ijebu Ode Grammar School for his secondary school education. Thereafter, he became an undergraduate of sociology at Lagos State University, before dropping out in 2009 to focus on his music ambition. He was later admitted into Leeds City University in Ibadan to study international relations, but he again dropped out after just two academic sessions at the school. Clearly, sitting for lectures was just not for him. Number 8. Wizkid's breakout single was Holler at Your Boy, released in January of 2010 under the Empire Mates Entertainment record label, founded by Banky Wellington or Banky W as he is more widely known. While this was not the first song made by the artist, it was the song that launched his career as a serious music artist. Wizkid released Holler at Your Boy alongside Giddy Girl and Orimi. The songs eventually found their way into his debut studio album, Superstar, released in 2011. Holler at Your Boy was nominated the best pop single, but earned him the next rated award at the Head East 2011, among other recognitions. Which brings us to the number seven fact about the talented musician. Wizkid started making music at the age of 11. At the time, he was known as Lil Prince and was a member of the Glorious Five, a group he formed with his friends from church. By the time he was 15, Wizkid had already met OJ Bijas Real, whom he followed closely. He also watched other big stars like Two Face, Sound Sultan, and Nato C about this time. He had stated in the past that Nato C was one of the people that mentored and coached him when he was 15 before he met Banky W, who later signed him to his Empire Mates Entertainment record label in 2009. Number 6. Still on Wizkid's fascinating early days career, did you know that his debut song was titled Mami Wata? We bet you didn't know that. Only hardcore fans might know about the song, which was released around 2008, but there is not a lot of information about it. It's on YouTube somewhere, so you might want to check it out. Wizkid didn't just release a song titled Mami Wata, he also seemed to have a fascination with the mythical being. For instance, a line in the chorus of his 2013 song, On Top of Your Matter, goes, You too find past Mami Watae, which was repeated several times and leads us to wonder whether Wizkid knows what Mami Wata looked like. Let's get your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 5. Wizkid was the first African pop star to perform as well as sell out Royal Albert Hall in London. The two-hour concert held on Friday the 29th of September 2017 sold out two days before the event. He performed songs from his EME beginnings to the point where he was regarded as Africa's number one artist. Eight months after, Wizkid has also had a sold out concert at the 20,000 capacity 2 Arena on Saturday, May 26, 2018. The event was the Afro Republic concert and his performance was preceded by those of the likes of Malik Berry, Yang Bain who brought Kojo Funds on stage, Mr. Easy, Giggs, 
techno, not threes, Tiwa Savage, but the night belonged to Wizkid, the star boy. Number four. Wizkid was the first Afro-pop artist to appear in the Guinness Book of World Records for his contributions to One Dance, a song by Canadian singer Drake. One Dance featuring Wizkid and Kyla was streamed 1.1 billion times as of the 26th of April 2017, making it the most streamed track in Spotify's history at the time and thereby earning the Starboy a spot in the Guinness Book of Records. The song, however, first hit 1 billion streams on the 12th of December 2016 and held the streaming record as the most streamed song on Spotify for almost a year before it was overtaken by Ed Sheeran's Shape of You on the 21st of September 2017. Shape of You still holds the record to date and has been streamed over 2.5 billion times on Spotify. Mind-boggling, isn't it? Yeah. Number 3. Wizkid is no stranger to controversies and beats with fellow celebrities such as the likes of Sam Cleef, Scalise, Sion, Jay Martins, Tonto Dike, Cyrus the Virus and many others, but the most significant ones were his beef with Davido and Linda Ikeji. Until 2017, there was a long-standing beef between Wizkid and Davido. The genesis of the beef was not clear, but many people believe it started when Davido and his crew allegedly walked out of the 2012 NIA Awards during Wizkid's performance on stage. The beef became official in 2014, after the two shaded each other on Twitter. Ever since, it has become a case of rivalry between the two, with their respective fans fanning the controversy. The beef officially ended in December of 2017 when Davido introduced Wizkid as his new best friend on stage during his 30 BG concert in Lagos, and they performed together. However, word on the street is that both artists are back to being cool not in the paddy way, with each other. Number two, thanks again to his collaboration on One Dance, Wizkid was the first Nigerian artist to maintain the number one spot on iTunes World Chart for more than a week. Following the release of the song, which also featured Kyla on the 5th of April 2016, the song charted at number two on the same day and quickly moved to the number one spot by the 8th of April, where it remained until the 14th of April. It regained the top spot by the 30th of April for another six days before moving to the number two spot on the 6th of May, but remained in the top 10 for many months after. It spent a total of 218 days on the iTunes US chart. One Dance also charted in the UK, Germany, France, Italy, Canada, Spain, Australia, and Brazil. Wizkid earned a Grammy nomination for Best Album in 2017 for his contribution to One Dance, one of the songs of Drake's album Views that was nominated for the award. Which brings us to fact number one. Wizkid is arguably the most decorated and nominated Nigerian artist in recent times, earning almost 180 recognitions to date. Also, when Wizkid was nominated in 2017, he became the youngest African artist to get a Grammy nomination. The artist has also won or been nominated for other prestigious awards like the National Association for the Advancements of Colored People Image Awards, Soul Train Music Awards, Afrima, Movo Awards, All African Music Awards, BET Awards, The Headies, MTV Europe Music Awards, Nigeria Entertainment Awards, Billboard Awards, Ghana Music Awards, to mention just a few. Wizkid's first recognition was at the 2010 Dynamics All Youth Awards, where he won the Promising Artist of the Year and was nominated for the Song of the Year for Holler at Your Boy. His most recent recognition was at the 2020 BET Awards, where he won BET Her Awards for his collaboration with Beyonce on the song Brown Skin Girl. The song which appears on Beyonce's album The Lion King, The Gift, also features Blue Ivy Carter and St. John. Wizkid's achievements in the music industry have been phenomenal and we have left out so many of them for the sake of brevity. For instance, did you know that he was the first African artist to garner 1 million views on YouTube in 24 hours for his song uploaded on the platform? Yes, he did that with his song Come Closer, released in March 2017 and which also features Drake. He is also the first African to bag seven Billboard nominations, the first Nigerian artist to win three Billboard awards, and the first Nigerian artist artist to win an award from the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers, ASCAP. The list is rather long. And with that, we conclude this edition of Top 10 Celebrity Fact Series, brought to you by Cydemex Entertainment. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydemex Entertainment. 
Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.